Hi everyone, I'm Zinga Blake with Manichi Magazine and we are here with Jason George, star of Grey's Anatomy on ABC and Mistresses on ABC. The man is a working man and also a family man. He's a father and a devoted husband. So thank you so much, Jason George, for being here with us. So since this is our art and culture issue, I have got to ask you, what role has art and culture played in your life? Art and culture is... It, it, that, that's your tribe, that's your identity, that's who you are as a people. There's no art, there is no culture, there were no people. And that's how we know who we are. So as chair of sag afters Diversity Advisory Committee, can you express the importance of diversity in the arts and culture? We actually do a, uh, we have an award called the American Scene Award, which literally is about how, well, you know, it's given out to productions, be it, you know, in all the performer category or broadcaster or recording artists that kind of, uh, best depicts the American scene, like truly how we look. Because as we know, you know, anybody who's a person of color knows that when they looked at television for a long time, you didn't see people that looked like you. Or if you did, they didn't necessarily reflect what your life was really like. And so now that we're finally starting to get to a place where you've got that, where people can see themselves, uh, you feel validated in a way. At the end of the day, if, you, if nobody knows your story, you didn't exist. I mean, Shonda Rhimes, part of the success of her shows, and I think she'll be the first one to say this, is that the diversity of the shows brings in audiences. It's gotta be good. I mean, it's gotta be good in the first place, and Shonda writes phenomenal stuff. But when you have African-Americans, Latinos, Asians, you know, then, as well as Caucasians, then everybody feels some connection to that piece of art. They call this the golden age of television because some of the best stuff is being written today. But I also think it's the golden age because diversity is at a level that it's never been before. And they're seeing the dollar signs because of it. ABC seems to knock it out of the park when it comes to celebrating diversity on screen. Now, how can other networks follow suit? Put some people who actually are good at their job in positions of power. When people who green light these projects, create the projects and green light them, actually come from different cultures, you're gonna get diversity. What was your reaction to John Legend and Common's performance of Glory and their acceptance speech at this year's Oscar Awards show? First off, I'm a ridiculous fan of both of them, uh, but I've never met John Legend. Common, you know, Rashid, as you know, is the most down-to-earth cat on the face of the planet. Really, truly good people, and both the acceptance speech that he gave at the Oscar, and I'll even say the acceptance speech at the Golden Globe, his eloquence and the ability to tie together, what, what amazed me was that he tied together not just the issues and the struggles that were specific to the march at Selma, and to African Americans, but he tied it into uh, Charlie Hebdo. I mean, he tied it. He tied it into the struggles of he tied it into the struggles of you know gay rights in all these different pieces uh, at the same time. Which for me, made, you know, he, and he, he included police officers, which I think was really truly important. So it wasn't just about um, you know my struggle as an African American. It was about anybody who's struggling to be recognized as an equal, anybody who's trying to keep the peace. There's a reason why he's one of the best lyricists in the game. He's, he's common as, the, as a beast, and John Legend's voice is beyond compare.